Well, some of them, some of them are so simple, but they're that much more frustrating, right? Of if if we need somebody in the B gap to stop the run in the B gap and he's not there, and the ball goes through the B gap for 50 yards, that's that's not difficult, to, right? To break down, but that's what makes it that much more frustrating. Is why you know why not? Um, and so at that point, you, you know you're, you're you're going through the normal kind of quality control you do every week, every practice. You're going, okay, this guy did this well. We need to tweak this, whatever. The normal that part of that is, is simple, but then you have that much longer to go. Why did that happen? You know why? You know, okay, what well, must have been what we ate? It must have been how we met. It must, have, you know, all the things that you just can labor on, and that's where you're just carrying carrying a dead weight. You're carrying a rock for six months. If you if you compartmentalize it and flush it and then use the rest to kind of catalyze your 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 improvement, that's a good thing. And so each guy, each coach has to kind of take it how you know they best use that kind of uh, motivational force. What was it like emotionally? Was the outcome? Well, I, that's one of those things. I'm, I'm horrible at all those things. And yeah, all these deals, they always ask me, hey, what's your favorite this and all your favorite? I didn't, we just really try to live day to day from, from you know, doing that process for everybody. That, that's something we try to do as fast as we possibly can. And we're over it. We have to be. <laughs> we have to be. Uh, and But I'm sure someday when I'm, you know, sitting on the beach with Ted Miller, we'll be talking about <laughs> a great year and a great run and getting to that, getting to that, end point was an unbelievable, unbelievable ride with a bunch of great guys, a bunch of great coaches, all, all the things, you know, that, that when you get to that point, yeah, absolutely, it's very disappointing, very emotional, but you, you got to get up the next day and go to work and, and, you know, work on the next deal. Absolutely. I mean, def defenses are, I think, uh, you know, this will be, we'll be talking about how we can increase scoring here in a couple of years, right? It's just, it's always a cycle. Um, but yeah, defenses are, are, are different and they're changing in, in, in a lot of ways, whether it's scheme or, or communication or, or however they're, you know, deploying their deal. And then that that's always our, our thing, it's kind of the, the shell game, right? And with us, of how, you know, how can we move the move the ball without them looking? What are you uh, seeing defenses do that, that is better now? I mean, because it doesn't seem to show up too much in the numbers. <laughs> well, you know, red zone efficiency. I think if you can, there's a lot of a lot of coaches out there to talk about, and we're not one of them. We want, we want zeros. But a lot of teams, you know, if they can hold serve to a field goal, right. then that you know that's victory. And there's you know there's there's some merit to that. To that type of thinking, uh, but just communication, you know, a lot more three, four teams, certainly in our conference of, of uh, being a little bit more versatile in your, in your, your fronts, your coverages. Um, I mean, I bet the drop eight is the, is the predominant coverage in the conference right now. Um, and that's, again, trying to get space deployed pre-snap. Uh, and so that, that just continually, you know, trying to, to, everybody's trying to move their, their shell faster than the other guy and grab the wrist. Coach, you guys.